Um, my name is Daniel James Eastep originally. Uh, Daniel, well, actually Daniel Clay Eastep, but it was changed to Daniel James Eastep. Um, I was uh, uh, born and raised in Boone County, um, in Printer, Sand Lake, uh, to be exact. Uh, I live right now in my grandfather's home, who, well, which was built by my dad. Um, I've drank contaminated water all my life from uh, Massey uh, coal mines, who is actually on the back of this hill here, up on the top of it, and. Um, we were drinking it for uh, years uh, before I was born. Um, my mom was, when I was born, she had a tumor that was as big as I was. The tumor was seven pounds and I was seven pounds and nine ounces. The doctors told her to have an abortion, said that if I didn't, um, uh, that it, I'd either come out a vegetable or I wouldn't come out at all and it'd kill, kill her in the process. So she had me um, and I was uh, came out and drank. Then uh, around uh, five, I had a tumor over my eye and uh, had it removed. And then at eight, I had heart surgery. At seven, I had my appendix removed and an ax stuck in my head. <coughs> so your brother stuck an ax in your head? Yeah. Um, Stuck an axe in my head, and um, it has. I have a huge scar going all the way across my head. Then about, um, let me think. The age, age ten, I had a screw from a power pole, one of the longer ones, um, stuck in my head, the back of my head. Um, and then around sixteen, I learned that I had a kidney disease, um, which is the most dramatic thing that's happened to me, uh, it's called IgA nephropathy. It's a rare kidney disease. Um, not very, very many even doctors know about it. I've noticed since I went to uh, hospitals and stuff for it. I don't know what it is and I don't know how to cure it. Um, they said their exact words would it be a, tie, a waste of time and money to get a, a kidney transplant. Um, they said the kidney disease, they're expecting it to act up um, in my 30s. Um, so pretty much was giving me a timeline uh, of when I would die. They said the dialysis would, the dialysis would just work for um, a couple months after that, just give me a little bit more time. Um, and then, so, uh, so that's what I live with uh, every day, knowing that maybe, maybe I won't wake up next. Um, but I mean, as horrible as my story is, to, there are so many more horrible stories out there um, just from people I know. Um, this was my family that the, the mines kind of fucked with and now, now the city water's fucking with. Um, we, we started out uh, having, thinking our water was always good, man, because we always had spring water. Uh, tasted great, felt good. Um, and then one day we found out it was contaminated, which scared the shit out of us. But um, but we were like, okay, we're gonna get city water up here. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be happy again. And it took us forever, and we fought so long for city water. And about a week or about a year and a half before the city water uh, contamination was the last bit of city water laid up this holler here. They're still laying it up in the printer, and. Um, not long after that, we found out, hey, that water that we've been uh, drinking uh, and thinking that we we're safe on was contaminated also. So uh, we got fucked over twice, <clears throat> which makes it hard for a lot of people to trust. A lot of people to trust uh, water, anything they drink, pretty much pop. People, I've heard people doubt pop, people doubt juices. What kind of water is it made with? If this water contaminated, what other water is contaminated? Because both water sources that we found on earth that we use ended up being contaminated and that is some pretty shitty luck. Um, but, uh, that's my story. Yeah. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>